welcome back to my channel so you know that i have a lot of books most of these are on my tbr um but i also have some books where i've not where i've had them for five-ish years five six years where i don't know where i've read them now i was going through my channel recently and found there were some old um like wrap-ups and like hauls so i went through um I mainly found like the wrap ups and I've just kind of been a little bit more like ruth a tiny bit more ruthless um in terms of what books I had from that point and the books that I knew that I I had definitely read based off of the like wrap ups that were on my channel and I did have a 2020 was it 2020 reading wrap up or something like that like where I went through all the books that I read that year um, which really helped me realise that actually I had read a book um, on here and that there were definitely books that I've had them way too long and I need to get off my TBR so maybe I'll do a like books that I've been avoiding video but I don't know whether I'll wait till like the new year because there are a lot of books that like there's books on my 2024 TBR that I'm like or that I'm pretty sure were on my 2024 TBR like my 24th for 2024 that I'm really want to get off my list in terms of like it would be really cool to go back and look at that video and be like yes i've read this um and so i want to kind of focus on that like coming up in this like november december period this is the first time i put on a christmas jumper i haven't even filmed my october wrap up or my november tbr it is november the first so it's not halloween um and this video is going up a little bit later like it's gonna go up like good mid november i don't know when you're seeing this so it feels a bit more fitting like a bit more socially acceptable but i like to get the most wear out of my christmas jumpers so i do wear them from like november and into like the first week of december that's just my thing and they're cozy i love them um but anyway I'm going to start with the not books books um that they're, they're a type of book but they're not books like they're not what this channel is about um so we're going to start off with the most not book book and it's a coloring book um i've partly colored in it um out of the lines yeah i know um i'm just gonna give this to my sister she can get rid of it if she wants it although she's young so she probably won't and actually i don't want to create a pile on my bed the other not book book is cross stitch patterns i have had this literally a good 10 years um very slightly gotten to cross stitch but i think i would prefer one that's like bigger i need one where i can go back to it and work on like a bigger project so these tiny little projects first of all they're really like they're not my style like they're quite i want to say old-fashioned um again just not my thing i think i'd prefer to do like a good proper like portrait not like portrait but like a good proper like image if i was to do something like cross stitch related because i it is enjoyable and i do like the look of it it's just these aren't captivating to me at all um so that's going um and then the last book last not book book is this GCC sociology revision it wasn't even mine it was my mum's um and I decided to keep it when she was going through her stuff it would literally be a good 10 years ago as well um maybe eight um I think I must have been interested in sociology at the time and I did do it at GCSE but I don't think I found it useful I don't think I ever looked at it um and there's no point in me holding on to it I have held on to my health and social care um like textbook but that's the one that i did use and it was really useful to me and i don't know i pro i don't really need it and it's probably the same essence of why my mom kept her sociology one but i just this one has no hold on me but my health and social care one is the one that literally properly carried me through that course because it literally directly related to what we were being taught um hence the hold it has on me so now onto the actual book books you're probably thinking like oh my god book books like jesus christ anyway first one is crimson lake by candace fox i don't even remember reading this i sort of do but i also basically don't um well actually no i don't i, I don't i was gonna say i think i remember some part of the ending but I was, no i don't i probably like i don't 
I just don't. So it can go. My nana might read that though, because I definitely think that I got it. Like I saw it in a haul and then it was in my 2020 or whatever it was. And I was like, I actually read that. Okay. Then the next book is Deja Dad by Kathy Rikes. I do enjoy this author and I do think I enjoyed it at the time. I just, it's been such a long time. I don't really remember it. It doesn't have a hold on me. And honestly, I, a lot, around that time, I was rating a lot of like books, like five stars. I don't think I did on this. I just don't think this was on Goodreads. But I rated a lot of books five stars when actually in hindsight, for what they were at the time, even though I don't remember them now, they were probably just like a forced solid four. I definitely gave out five stars a little bit more easily um like i will continue to read this author because i do enjoy her writing and i enjoyed bones which is very 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 loosely based off of the main character in like this series book series um but literally only by like name again i don't actually remember it um then the next book is the cutting place by jane casey i i have a little bit more of a vague recollection of this book but at the same time, it took for me to watch that, like, year of book wrap up in order for me to realise that I had read this. Like, I do think this was good. And I do know I enjoyed it. Um, this is one of the ones where I'd rated it, like, five stars on Goodreads and actually it's, like, just a four. Um, and, like, yeah, I would recommend. Um, and this one will go to my nana as well. Um, a lot of these thrillers will. I think most of these will go to her. Actually, in hindsight, it's just... I don't remember it. And so because I don't remember it, why am I holding on to it? Then the next book is Postmortem by Pat Patricia Cornwell. This one I do remember more. But only because I remember, like, the name of the victim mentioned right at the start of the book. I'm like, actually, hang on a sec, I remember this. Well, I remember it enough to know vaguely. I remember it more than what I do for the other books. Like, I remember who the fourth victim was, um, and that it was definitely slightly strange compared to all of this. But again, I don't remember it. Um, although this book my nana has read, so she, because she marks her initials in it when she has read it, but the neighbour hasn't, so, because that is definitely an S um so yeah that one will probably go to her neighbor before it goes to the charity shop then this next book i i think this was a slightly more, not recent i think it was only like 2021 but like read but that's locked down by peter may i did enjoy it the ending was definitely unrealistic which i only kind of realized after reading reviews at the time i did enjoy it and even though it's like a lockdown, which actually the whole reason why it was able to be published is because of the lockdown. Because apparently the publisher thought, yeah, this is not realistic. And then the lockdown came out and all of a sudden they're like, actually, yeah, let's publish this. But again, I don't remember it. And so therefore it can definitely go. That's the thing. If I go up there and I start reading books and I realise actually, hang on a sec, I have read this. Then I will potentially just get rid of it. Um, now this next book, I have no memory of reading it at all it literally took for me to watch that video for me to realize that i had read it um and that is a twist of the knife by becky masterman i do have a vague memory of this though based off of the um like blurb but even then it's still not strong and actually again i'm thinking i'm mixing some of this up with like, I think I'm mixing this up with a different book plot. And, like, I think this is good. But I just... Or it must have been good at the time. Because this was another one where I'd done the, like, five. Because actually it's a four. Yeah, I just... I don't remember it. And I even hauled it in a book, one of my videos as well. And the next book is City of Bones by Michael Connolly. I do enjoy his writing. I am tempted to get rid of Trunk Music as well. But also I think that one has more of a hold on me. This one I don't remember. This one I don't remember but I know I've read based off of that video of like wrap up. Um, so therefore it can go. This next book I have more of a memory of reading it 
but that is The Race by Clive Cussler. I do enjoy his writing. I own multiple of his books and I am still considering getting rid of more of his books because I'm like, actually, am I in, like, they're like the ones where they're like a solid four star because it's a lot of detail. This one, I know the main kind of plot points and honestly, it's just not kind of good enough for me to keep hold of. Like, it's not a bad book and I do remember enjoying it. I just don't think that I need to hold on to it anymore. Um, and I do think that actually probably by the time Christmas comes, I might be more ruthless and there might be another like unhaul. That's eight books that I'm unhauling. And actually there are, well, technically there's like nine and I'm not including like this not book books. At my Nana's, I have The Wake Up Call by Beth O'Leary. I'm getting rid of that. It's just, it didn't have a hold on me enough for me to like keep it like her first three books i absolutely loved um so that's the switch the road trip and the flat share they had more of a hold on me whereas now the magic is just kind of gone for those two i do want to read her like 2025 release um but i just it could just be the plot they're not as captivating for me um, so I'd already got rid of the no-show, like, a while back. I'd also got rid of Heart Stuff at the first one as well. I don't remember whether I said, um, but I did get rid of that. And then the other book that I'm getting rid of is it, this Bella Osborne. It's a Christmas book. I can't remember the name of it. I read it last year. I just, I wanted more Christmas magic from it and it just didn't, it just didn't have that magic. I am so excited to watch like a Hallmark Christmas movie like I cannot wait like there's obviously gonna be some that come out and I'm like mm, I'm gonna be living for it like this is gonna be my season of watching Netflix I don't watch it a lot but I'm like I'm gonna be on there a little bit more so those are the technically nine books that I'm getting rid of along with the three not book books I probably have more books up there that I have read um I just know that I bought some of them used so it's hard to tell like I can't just go off of the like are the spines cracked because I haven't I bought some of them used so it's not like I said it's not as easy to tell but because of that I've been able to bring back more books from my nana's and um, that I'd been storing there so at least I've kind of got more of my TV up with me and I am making my way through it and I know that they're going to be books that I don't enjoy and so I will kind of get rid of but these ones are just the like older ones where you've not really heard of them or unless unless you're like into like the thriller kind of world which I know that a lot of my books recently are more like romance fantasy but I do enjoy thrillers um I did read some thrillers last month um one main thriller um I do think I'll probably end up reading more like this month though um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what other like challenge videos um that you kind of want to see from me also I discovered that I had an actual reading log for then she was gone way back when when it actually like first came out and obviously it's become really popular ever since then and I read that a good like five years ago which is absolutely wild like, I did the odd book video back then. Um, I have privatised a lot of videos where I'm like, this is just a crap makeup video. Um, this one that I've kept, where I'm like, meh, that can stay. Um, but there was definitely a good 200 where I've privatised, which is close to half of my videos at this point. Also, because they were like the low quality ones, and I'm like... I've privatised them so that if I need to go back and watch them and um, for whatever reason use the content from them, which I doubt I will, then I can do that. But I've kind of, the ones that I've kept on are my hauls, my book related stuff. There's one where I recreated my first video, but then I've privatised my first video. At least, you know, um, but yeah. And there's like some where I've done like makeup tutorials where I'm like, you know what, they can stay on. Like, I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, I've rambled on. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.